Hello and welcome back to Say Yes to Cooking with me Nibha. Today I am going to share another interesting recipe with you all that is spicy egg bhuna masala. So let's move into my kitchen and start cooking. So the first thing which I am doing for this recipe is I am roasting the onions till they are nicely charred from all the sides and they are cooked a bit. They will not be completely cooked but yes you have to cook it till they are charred from all the sides. So now you can see the onions are nicely roasted from all the sides and now we can remove it and let it cool down and then you can remove the outer skin of it. So after roasting the onions I am going to make a fresh garam masala for this. So for that I have taken over here this is around 1 inch of stone flour it is also called as uh, dagar full. This is half inch of star anise and these are 5 to 6 uh, tailed pepper or also called as nakeshwar or uh, kabab chini half inch of mace or javitri 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds 1 teaspoon of uh, fennel seed and uh, 4 to 5 cloves 10 to 12 black pepper 1 inch of cinnamon and 2 black cardamom and we'll also need 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds or this is also called as til and uh, this is 3 tablespoon of uh, dry coconut so I'm going to dry roast all the spices so the pan is hot and I'm going to add all of these I'm going to roast it till I get a nice aroma of the spices Okay, so now these spices are nicely roasted. Now I'm going to add in this sesame seeds. So now even the sesame seeds are nicely roasted and at the last I am going to add the coconut in this. Roast it till the coconut is uh, golden. Okay so now even the coconut is nicely roasted. So I'm going to remove it into a bowl and keep aside till it cools down and then I'm going to grind it into a fine powder. So now after dry roasting the spices I'm going to dry roast the green chilies, garlic and curry leaves. If Now I am using the curry leaves uh, at this step. I am going to grind it finally with the onions and this garlic and green chilli to get a nice strong flavor of the curry leaves. But uh, if you don't like curry leaves or you, if you don't like the prominent flavor of curry leaves then you can just add it during the tempering or you can skip it. So now all these things are nicely roasted. So I'll just switch off the burner and remove it and 
just let it cool a bit okay so now i'm going to make a paste for which i have taken the roasted onions the garlic curry leaves and green chilies which we have roasted this is around uh, half cup of coriander leaves and uh, this is one inch of ginger i'm just going to make a fine paste from all these ingredients and then we'll start with the gravy for making the th gravy i have taken two tablespoon of oil and once the oil is hot i am adding mustard seeds king or asafoetida now i'm going to add the onion paste which i have made I'll add the coriander powder and cook it till the oil is separated from this masala. So now you can see the oil has separated from this masala. So now I'm just going to add a little water in this. salt to taste and now I'll add the spice mixture which we have made now I've already used the green chilies in the paste so I'm not adding any red chilli powder in this but if you want the red color then you can add Kashmiri red chili powder and now I'll add this tamarind paste in this Add the water you can adjust the consistency of the gravy as you like I'm just going to cover it and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes on medium to low flame so now this gravy is ready I'm just going to add some coriander mix it and then I'm going to add the boiled eggs and then it will be ready to plate so friends here it is the tangy and spicy egg buna masala is ready to serve you can serve it with some hot chapati, bhakri or rice do try it and let me know how it turns out and hit the like button if you like the recipe. This is Nimba signing off. Bye bye and happy cooking.